Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make some street food tacos right in your oven. I have a rack of beef back ribs but you can use short ribs or even if you have your pork ribs go ahead and use them as well. You want to dry your ribs really good with a paper towel that way our seasoning can adhere to it and just stick to produce a delicious flavor. Using my paper towel so my fingers aren't so slippery, I'm going to remove the membrane from the back of the rib. Add one tablespoon of chili powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. Combine your seasonings in a bowl and you're going to rub it all over your rack of ribs. And to make sure that every single rib has an evenly coated flavor, we're going to slice our ribs individually. And you want to make sure to fully coat all of the sides of your ribs. Once you coat all your ribs, you're going to align them in your baking sheet. Bake at 400 degrees for one hour. For the delicious salsa negra, you're gonna need six tomatillos, four tomatoes, four garlics, two, you can use a jalapeno or serrano peppers. It's gonna be up to you and the spice level that you like. One small purple onion, one medium onion, two Anaheim peppers, and four pasilla chiles. Before we start roasting our salsa, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of oil over the top of all our ingredients. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the stems off of our chili peppers. And now you're gonna place all your salsa ingredients in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and we're still at 400 degrees. And now we're gonna toast our pasilla chilies right on the stove top. Once your chiles puff up, you're gonna set them to the side right next to your pan in a plate. You're gonna remove the stem and the seeds from your chiles. Next, you're gonna add some warm water to your bowl and you're gonna soak the chiles until they're nice and soft. Our salsa ingredients have been in the oven for 30 minutes and now it's a perfect time for us to switch our temperature to 280 degrees. We're gonna continue to cook our ribs for another three hours while we blend our salsa. Start placing all your salsa ingredients in your blender. along with the pasilla chiles that we soaked in hot water. Add one tablespoon of salt. And now you want to blend until smooth. Oh yeah! <laughs> and boom, done. We have salsa for days, everybody! Add the juice of one big lime, chopped cilantro and onions. Give that a loving mix and try not to eat this, you know, while you're waiting for your ribs to be cooked because it's that good and you're gonna need some for your tacos. When you have one hour left of your baking time, you wanna remove the foil to develop a delicious crust on your beef ribs. And boom, done, our ribs are ready. They're pretty much fall off the bone. Look at that, just tear it off. Careful because they're hot. Nice, juicy, and tender, yummy. And I really love how juicy beef ribs are, look at that. Tender, juicy pieces of beef and absolutely delicious. I'm so excited for you to try these tacos because they're super easy to make and full of flavor. You can serve your beef rib tacos as they are like this, or you can start chopping them up into smaller pieces. And when you're working with ribs, you better off just chopping them up so that you have enough for your whole family. I'm so excited for you to try these delicious tacos. With just a few ingredients, you make some amazing Mexican street style tacos right in your oven. Squeeze a little lime juice. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. When you have a soft tortilla and your beef is juicy and tender, you know you're in the danger zone with some delicious street tacos. 
One of the things I am gonna say to you, if you want a super spicy salsa, go ahead and look in the description area because I'm gonna tell you what chiles to add to your salsa to get you sniffling and wanting more. Mm. Absolutely delicious. If you have a large family, use two racks of ribs and then come back and let me know what everybody said. Mm. As always, Claude and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope you enjoyed our tacos today. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.